Hi up YouTube, it's uh, in Amiga 4 again with the Samsung Galaxy S2 running Android Gingerbread. Um, just going to show you quickly how to upgrade your version of Android Gingerbread. Gingerbread? Gingerbread. Um, um, before I do so, I'm just going to show you what the current version I'm running. So if we go to settings and then, set, should I say, applications and then settings and then from settings we go to about phone and from about phone if you look at the bottom uh, it says there it's running Android version 2.3.3 so uh, what we'll do we'll come out of that we want to connect the phone to uh, our computer so we can run um, Samsung keys so I'll just plug in the the USB lead uh, and that's there connected so now what we're going to do is jump over to my PC and I'll show you what to do on the screen so we've got the phone connected to the PC I just launched the Samsung keys application from the start menu and it should just connect uh, to the device there you go it says it's connected and uh, automatically it's done a search and says yes there's a new firmware version which is available it may improve the performance um, I know it will improve the performance because it's going from 2.3.4 no sorry 2.3.3 to 2.3.4 I'm not going to update straight away so I'm just going to click cancel to that because what we want to do first thing uh, again you can see the button in the middle which says firmware upgrade in the middle um, before you upgrade anything I would highly recommend that you back up everything on your phone just in case because you never know what might actually happen because um, I don't hold no responsibility for it and neither will Samsung so from here all you do at the top you can see there's four tabs click on the one which says uh, backup slash restore at the end top right now what we want to do is I don't want to back up everything so I'll back up my contacts messages I'm not worried about call logs um, not worried about music I am photos uh, we'll leave miscellaneous content in and we'll also done tick it. the performance uh, preferences, ringtones, network settings, and bookmarks. And we'll also do the email account information. So once you've selected what you want to back up, uh, you can either select it individually or you can press select all items at the top. Um, just click on the backup button there. And we'll give it a second or two. And then you get a window pop up which says data backup. Um, gives the device's name is being backed up. Do not disconnect device while. Uh, backup is being created and you can see it's going through the various steps there uh, well that was quick um, and it says it's backed up uh, today's date time how much is backed up in size and a tick next to each one that's pretty much it so we'll click complete obviously this will take longer depending on how much data you have on yours um, but I'll click complete on that okay so now that's all backed up uh, to do the firmware upgrade all we do is go back to where it says basic information just tap on that and then it's got new firmware is available upgrade your device to enhance its capabilities blah 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 um, hit firmware upgrade it gives you a window which says fully recharged uh, basically what it says is it gives you it gives you a window which is titled firmware upgrade firmware upgrade for the phone's model disconnect all devices other than the one that that you're upgrading and then it gives you seven steps um, please fully recharge the battery before upgrading please back up your data before upgrading please do not press any buttons to run the menu during the upgrade process please do not connect other mobile devices mp3 files cameras to the PC please do not disconnect the cable while the upgrade is com uh, is complete until the upgrade is complete sorry you cannot use call functions while upgrading uh, upgrades can take 5 to 30 minutes but may take longer depending on your network connection kind of st standard stuff really so I'll tick that to say I've read all the above information um, and below there's a like a little allow saving and information box which says uh, we would like to save all your phone number PC hardware specifications and IP information on our servers for two years this will help us identify analyze and resolve uh, any errors that may occur during firmware upgrades uh, and contact if uh, necessary um, I'm going to choose no to that and then we'll do start upgrade 
that window disappeared and now it says downloading firmware upgrade components it's gone through pretty quick downloaded that notice it says there in the C's application in the background that the phones disappeared from connected devices it's not unplugged or anything I've still got it connected or just I'm not touching I'm doing exactly what it said so we'll just leave it alone we'll see what it does so downloading file for firmware upgrade of GT-19100 please do not disconnect the cable connected to the PC well duh you've just told me not to so we'll just leave that alone until that completes I may fast forward this bit because it's a bit boring at the moment and we'll pick up what it says uh, when it comes to near the 100% mark ok it's just finished that process and you can see it says GT-19100 firmware upgrade is in process please do not disconnect the cable connected to the PC and it's just going through that process I'm just going to switch back to the phone quickly just to show you what it shows on the screen uh, the phone just started to bleep uh, twice and then uh, the screen changed to downloading do not turn off target and then you got the Android symbol there so I just thought I'd show you that on the phone as well um, it's still downloading the, the firmware upgrade from the PC so I'm presuming it's just transferring it to the phone at this point as you can see the bar across the bottom there there we go that's reached 100% uh, now it says firmware upgrade complete um, and it gives you the device name there service name software update service version being the firmware version it's just upgraded to uh, and any descriptions there and if I just take you back to the phone what it shows back on there as you can see on the screen now it's reached 100% for the firmware download and it's now giving you the the details to say what it's downloaded the firmware version numbers uh, and it says firmware upgrade of GT-191 100 successfully complete back on the screen all we do here is just click OK there we go that's as the as the phone's booting back up now it, it's uh, keys is recognizing it again or at least trying to connect to it as it's booting back up again now that the upgrade process for the firmware is completed, I don't need keys anymore, so I'm just going to close that down. What we'll do is move back over to the phone, and I'll just show you what the versions show on there. I'll just punch in my PIN, as this is. So just punch that in, it should come up with another PIN screen, there we go. Just punch that in. And there we go, it throws me back to... You can see there's a in MTP initialization there along the top. I'm just going to see if I can go into applications, settings, about, and then if you can see there it says Android version 2.3.4, which is higher than what was there before. If, uh, if you remember, it was lower than that. So that's how easily you upgrade the Android gingerbread operating system itself. I will be doing some more videos on how to upgrade to Ice Cream Sandwich once update eventually comes out for that. But it is an out at this moment in time. Um, any comments you have or questions, please comment below. Uh, obviously if you can subscribe it's free, you don't have to pay anything, you can check out some of my forthcoming videos from the button above. And thanks for watching and goodbye.